Hello. Um, when I bought a big run, the big run of uh, New Adams DC from David, for those that watch my uh, videos over the past few years, I, I bought a huge, huge collection of bronze DC book that have New Adams art on the covers. Uh, as part of that collection, I bought the Justice League. And in that is these three books. Okay, I will give you a closer look at these three beautiful, gorgeous copy. I don't believe David ever read them, never read them. Um, but these three has star the new villain, Starbreaker, the cosmic vampire. Okay, here's the three issues. Great character. I, I like the character a lot. I like the looks. I'll give a close-up look later at the end of the video. Um, I like the vampire look, the cape. Uh, very. He's a very powerful character, you know. Uh, can consume planet. The cosmic entity that can destroy planet, consume the energy. He can uh, uh, absorb negative energy to make him stronger such as fear uh, it's a cool concept I like it it's original enough for me to like it and the premise of the villain is good his intention of uh, for the story is good but the execution of the story was clunky to me it's it did translate very well the the dialogue the story the the premise of the story is, is good I can I can I'm okay with that, but the execution of the storyline, especially the part where they brought in uh, a sorcerer, a Sargon, the sorcerer, a, a pretty obscure character to help them defeat the villain. I didn't I didn't like that part of the story, um, but for such a powerful character that was able to take, uh, give a beating to the entire Justice League team you figure that over the past 40 plus years yes this book is that old uh, 44 years 43 years that DC would have find uh, other storyline to fit him in because he is a cool character with very powerful um, abilities uh, so it's a shame that for whatever reason he didn't make much of an impact in the DC universe so he fit into my uh, list of underutilized character he's cool uh, hopefully other people would agree but if not that's okay I don't think he's gonna make any kind of comeback in the near future <laughs> so these are not not hot book not hot <laughs> anyhow thanks for watching and if you want to take a look Closer look, stick around. Bye bye. Okay, so here's a close up look of the books. Uh, this is issue 96. Beautiful copy. This one is probably the worst of the three. There's a little crease right there. And then there's a little thumb crease down here. These books were stored without bags or board for 30 plus years. When I bought it from David, I actually mailed him the bags and board to put them in before he shipped them to me uh, I think I told that story a few times but just look at the, the gloss on this one newsstand fresh they are very well preserved the comic god was very kind to these books not to add any more fuel to the poly or mylard debates <laughs> but just look at that newsstand fresh beautiful white pages 30 plus years without any bags or board just look at this this is a, actually a very good splash page I'm just gonna give you a, a glimpse of the inside I'm not gonna flip through every page but as you can see right there that's pretty decent the art is okay uh, I'm not uh, wow by it but certainly it was okay Plenty of action here. 
there you go let me show you one more a uh, few more pages so that's the first time Starbreaker show up in his outfit looking pretty cool I like it an update version of a vampire here's what's crazy he was able to create uh, what we call offspring specialized offspring and he called them investment they all have different power to, so he you know create this offspring to fight various members of the Justice League in different time frame very weird uh, but maybe not so weird for those that follow DC during this stage so there's issue 96 I might be in the minority but I'm not a big fan of the art on the side here the, the headshot and for me it took away the covers a little bit because I would rather have not have this and have more room for the beautiful Neil Adams cover just look at this I would rather have this as a cover where it's predominantly purple it would have been beautiful to see this, this this entire drawing as a cover instead of sharing space with this okay so issue uh, 97 this one is near flawless beautiful look at that the only flaw is right here there's a tiny crease right there one of the more interesting thing about this book this issue is this page here where it contained the sales circulation figures I love to see this kind of information on older books because it give me a decent understanding of what was going on with the hobby at the time but look at this this issues was printed 400,000 copy were printed and barely over half was paid 218,000 okay you see that but this is a good example of why the business model of the hobby was breaking down. You can't print 400,000 and barely sell over half. You can't. Direct sales, this is the beginning of why direct sales was much needed just to save the industry because this is bad right there. When you see numbers like that, that's just, there's just no business model that can exist with uh, that kind of print to sales figures. You know, all of David's book, for the most part, are in this kind of shape where, you know, for many of the books, uh, unless they are read, I don't believe he read these, uh, you know, they, they get dinged up a little bit here and there because they were not stored in any bags or board for 30 plus years. Last but not least is this cover, another cool cover that would have been better if we didn't see the left side and the picture can be bigger this book is beautiful and before I go uh, these books also have an interesting ad right here for Tarzan. Okay, what's interesting is this right here. Also, John Carter of Mars. I wonder if DC was trying to come out with a book, John Carter of Mars. For those that follow Tarzan and uh, the relationship that DC had with. Uh, this property, as far as you know, the the Edward Riceboro properties, a few years later, Marvel obtained the rights. So Marvel put out Tarzan book as well as John Carter's of Mars. So I wonder if this was a an ad uh, for the future. Maybe not, but I'm just find weird that they uh, have that right there. Weird and interesting. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.